Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome back, Force here, coming at you with some more Overwatch news. Now, yesterday, we took a look at some early development footage that came through IGN, talking about some secrets behind some of the support characters in Overwatch. In particular, what was really cool was seeing Lucio's Time Slow Ultimate ability. But, I think what was actually one of the more interesting things to actually get out of that footage was that Overwatch used to have hats. Yes, Santa hats, and in this particular case. In this footage, we see a Santa hat on Soldier, McCree, Widowmaker, and Farah. Basically, everyone in this match of this early development build had hats on. So this tells us, obviously, that at one point, Blizzard considered going the hat route with Overwatch. Uh, now, as it is, this game already gets enough direct comparisons to TF2, so I guess it's unsurprising that they decided to nix this, and instead of going with straight up hats, what did we get? Well, we got skins, head to toe skins, including weapon skins, and yes, at times, some of these skins even include hats. There are several hats in the game at the moment, but they are, of course, tied directly to an entire outfit. You can't just piecemeal put on a particular hat on a hero, you have to go with an entire outfit that may or may not include a hat. In fact, these very Santa hats that we saw in this early development build did eventually make it into the game through particular hero skins. But what about this idea of having hats in this game in general? Or to be more specific, since hats are already in this game as we've just covered, having the ability to pick and choose parts of these outfits. What if you could just pick certain weapon skins? Well, this is an idea that's been tossed around for quite some time. People really like the idea of no matter what what skin that your hero has, whether you have the default one, a legendary one, or whatever, being able to then independently choose a weapon skin. Not too long ago, there was a fake leak that came out that turned up to just be a user-generated image, a good old Photoshop trickery, and people really liked it. It, was, it showed an image of Reinhardt in the default skin with the golden axe, which is a weapon that is, belongs to another of Reinhardt's skins. Certainly not the default one. So the the concept is simple. I could use the default skin for a hero, but any of the skins that I've unlocked, I could choose the weapon and attach that, apply that to another skin. And it seemed like that got a really positive reception. I know personally, I really love this idea, and I wouldn't mind this idea going further, including the hat category. Now, you, you get some people out there who say, well, they can't do hats because it ruins the silhouette of the heroes, etc., etc., but that obviously isn't the case since, again, there are already examples of characters with hats that may not have hats in their default skin in this game at the moment. The only separation right now is that everything is a single cohesive unit. When you have a skin, everything about that skin changes. The weapon, whether or not you have a hat, whether or not you got jingle bells on your outfit. <laughs> it's all determined by the one skin. But I think that there is probably enough interest, and I personally would love to see Blizzard allow us to customize how our characters look a little bit further. Further. Let us choose, no matter our outfit skin, a different weapon skin. And hell, yes, even let us pick our own hats so long as there are skins with hats that we've already unlocked. I also wanted to cover today, there was a uh, bug that went up by Reddit user Jixerbot. He showed a clip of a Torbjorn turret shooting from inside of a wall on Hanamura. Now, I know since this game has launched, we've seen all sorts of bugs of heroes clipping through walls. Torbjorn turrets, in particular, though, seem to always be in places that they're are not supposed to be it clipping through walls and then still being able to shoot through them. It's kind of a crapshoot, and I hope that Blizzard looks into this as soon as possible. It sucks when it happens. As always with this kind of stuff, if you see someone using it and abusing it, make sure you report them. Uh, Blizzard may very well ban them because this is obviously something that you have to deliberately do. If you if you personally did it by mistake, just make a new turret so that the one that's in the wall that's shooting people through the wall doesn't exist anymore. Don't abuse bugs and glitches, guys. Blizzard takes that stuff seriously. I just wanted to let you guys know that there is another one of them floating around. So if you're on Hanamura and you're getting shot from you don't know where, it might be a turret from inside of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Alright everybody, that's gonna do it for me here today as always. I'd love to know what you guys think about this video. Please let me know in the comment section below. Hope you all have a good one and until next time, I'll see you later.